Hey everyone, you may have noticed I haven't posted anything for the past couple of months, and that's because I spent about two months working on a commercial for a big casino resort. My animation was an evening shot of the exterior of the casino building, and they wanted to see both the sunset as well as the stars, and the camera is going to pan from one to the other. And that's something I've never done before, so I had to figure out what to do. So, in this video I'm going to show you what I figured out and how to do it yourself. Alright, so let's start off here in Layout. And the first thing is it's an empty scene, uh, except for all I did was load this house object and I repositioned the camera to get a slightly nicer angle. By the way, if you're interested in building this house, I have a paid tutorial that I will link to in the description below. So first, let's turn on VPR so we can see our render. And so we just got a basic sky gradient. So one of the new features in Lightwave 2019 is a new backdrop option. Let's click backdrop. And under add environment, we have this physical sky and Hosek Wilkie, I think that's pronounced. So click that and we get a basic new sky with a sun over here. And switch over to perspective view so we can rotate around. And so here's our sunlight over at this side. And over here is a little darker. But you'll notice everything under the horizon line is black. So we'll have to deal with that later. So if we double click on that, we get some new options in here. And one of them is pick location. So we'll click that and you can choose whatever location you want. Uh, I'm just going to click somewhere near me. I'm right around here. And if you go to Google Maps or something and you have the actual latitude and longitude, you can type those in down here. Uh, you can choose the year, month, and day. And I can just click Get Current Date. So that's today's June 24th. And there are also presets. So if you want to choose a specific city and you don't have the actual latitude and longitude, uh, you can just grab it from here. Uh, you can also just pick the time zone. Uh, you can get the current time uh, down to the second. So click that. And we'll click OK. So it'll take a second here. I'll rotate a little bit. There we go. So, uh, theoretically, this is what it looks like outside my house right now. But, if I want to get more of a sunset, I can increase the... Oh, pick location. I can increase the hour. See, it's uh, using a 24-hour clock here. So, see what happens at 8 o'clock, which is 20. And I'll just set these back down to zero. So it's exactly eight o'clock. Okay, rotate a little bit. And that's pretty sunset-ish, but not totally sunsetted. So let's pick time again. We'll say 8.30. Take a look there. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to go actually a little bit brighter. So let's pick location. I'm going to say 820. And something like that. Okay. That looks pretty good. So that's the background sky. If I want to get the lighting to match that, I can open my light. Let's close this. I can open my light and let's look at the light properties. And instead of the default distant light, 
I'm going to set it to sunlight, which is again using that Hosek Wilkie, or however you pronounce it. And boom, now the lighting is matching the sunset. That's really nice. That it, it's so easy to set that up exactly the way you want it. So now we have our sunset over there, but we are going to need our stars on the other side. So for that, we will jump over to Modeler, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in Modeler, and let's start making our sky dome. We'll start on the Create tab, and click the Ball tool. And then I'm just going to drag it somewhere from near the middle of the top view, and just drag it out. And then from one of the side views, I'll drag up. And to make sure it's totally spherical, I'm going to hold control and drag from one of the corners. There we go. So now we've got a sphere. And over on the numeric panel, uh, which you can get if you don't have it by pressing the N key, we're going to set the radius to 500 meters. So I'll hit 500, press enter. 500, enter, 500, enter. And now let's zoom out a little bit. So now it is one kilometer across from one side to the other. So I'll press enter to drop the tool. And I'm going to select everything on the bottom half and hit delete. And let's zoom this out a little bit. Or I can just hit shift A to center it all. And so now we have our sky dome, except that it's we're seeing it from the outside and we need to see it from underneath. So let's hit F to flip the polygons. And let's start setting up our surface. So I'll open the surface editor. And I'm gonna set this material to the standard one. And it's got a lot of specularity on there. So let's turn on smoothing. And we'll set the diffuse to 100 and specular all the way down to 0. And so let's add a texture to it. So I'm going to hit the T on the color section. And I'm going to set my projection to spherical. And for my image, I already have it loaded here, but you can load it. I have this uh, star image, which, you know, you can get these just from, like, NASA's website. They have really good free ones. And so I've got to set to Z. I think that'll be fine for now. Let's just take a look around. Yeah, it looks all right. Let's hit automatic sizing. And... And it's pretty good. There's one little spot here which might be a problem. We'll just have to put that behind the camera. There's another one might be a problem, but we'll see once we get it into layout. So let's close this and we'll close that. Oh, before I close that again, let's uh, open that back up. Uh, I'm going to set the luminosity to 100 and the diffuse to 0. Okay, and now I can save this. Save object as. And I'll just call it sky dome underscore V001. And save. And now we're ready to go back to layout and load it up. All right, here we are back in layout. Let's load that sky dome. Just click load object. There's our sky dome, and boom, so we have a huge change here, and right off the bat we can see our stars, but the problem is that it's so dark because the sky dome is an object and it's blocking all of the light. So we've got our scene editor here, and let's open up the sky dome object properties, and we're, um, here on the render tab, and let's uncheck self shadow, cast shadow, and receive shadow. 
So there we go. But now we cannot see our sunset. And we still have this huge black problem from underneath the horizon. So let's add a ground plane. Let's go to the model tab and geometry and ground plane. And good idea is to click save object and you can choose where you want it to save. Uh, so I'm going to set this to one kilometer by one kilometer. And I'll click OK. There we go. Uh, and it does have some reflection on it by default, some specularity. So let's hit Shift click on there, bring up the surface editor. And we'll bring the roughness all the way up and the specular all the way down. Close that. Take a look, and it looks pretty good. So next, let's start making some of this sky dome transparent so that we can see the sun. All right, so in order to get started with making that transparent, let's back out and look at it from the back view. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. Like so, that should do and get out of VPR for a moment. Let's go to front face wireframe and I'm gonna add a null. So we'll come up here to items, add null. We'll call it uh, sun trans. Okay and here's our null and I'm gonna move this all the way over to this side because that's where our sunlight is. And let's go back to our VPR now. Okay, and I'm going to shift click on the dome to get the surface. And move it out of the way. And now on the transparency, I'm going to hit the T for texture. And I'm going to change it from image map to gradient. And we can already see it's starting to work. But I'm going to set the input parameter to distance to object. And I'll set my object as our sun trans null. And let's increase the end here of the gradient here to, I don't know, say 500. Just give us plenty of room to work, 500 meters. And I'm going to click once down here at the bottom. And I'll give another click. And on the bottom one, I'm going to set the value to zero. And not much has changed, but as I move these up, you should start to see the stars appearing. There they are. And you can tweak this and adjust it to how you like. You could have a really sharp transition or a really wide transition. But that looks pretty good. Let's go back to our VPR. Or our perspective, I mean. And zoom in. And so there we are. We can see our sunset now. And it transitions nicely to the stars. Let's move up above the ground plane. And there's our stars. The stars are pretty big. Looks a little too unnatural. So I'm going to look up at them. And let's close this. And it's still on the sky dome. So let's click the texture. And let's adjust the, say, the wrap amount to 2. And that makes them a lot smaller. Could even go to three, maybe. And another thought is to go into the image editor and adjust that star background, edit it, make it 
a little bit more contrasty. Maybe adjust the gamma up a little bit. Bring the brightness down. You can just tweak it to your liking. But overall, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go back to the camera view. And I think that looks really nice. Let's uh, rotate our camera a little bit. Oh, I've got the wrong thing selected. <laughs> camera. Let's rotate up and then we can pan up and see our stars. And so that's it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you learned something or have any questions, please leave a comment. And of course, please subscribe. You can always use more subscribers. See you next time.